years old. I lived on Liberty Street in Fostoria, Ohio, and I crossed the road all by myself, and it was a highway, and I went across the road to what I remembered as being the city park, and they found me. They about drove me crazy. Where did that little girl go? <laughs> and I was in the park on a swing, contentedly swinging. Mm -hmm. Well, then they wouldn't let me be free anymore. They tethered me to the house. So uh, no matter how hard I cried, it didn't do any good because they wanted me to be safe. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of interesting that now I'm going to end up being tethered with uh, rappelling down the building. <laughs> Don't you think that's kind of interesting? That is interesting. And I have uh, uh, walked on hot coals and, and uh, not burned my feet. Each thing is pretty interesting, but I don't want to digress. I, I've piloted a, a glider uh, up in the thermals. Uh, uh, let's see, what else have I done? Uh, Zero gravity? Oh, yes, I did with Alan Ladwig from NASA. Uh, I experienced zero gravity. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> and, uh, bungee jumping? Oh, yes, bungee jumped in Australia. Uh, a rope bridge in Brasilia. What did you say? Walking across a rope bridge. Oh, yes, yes, with a chasm way down. Yes. Oh, and I. Let's see, I was at Grand, oh, what's that called? Um, Grand Canyon, is that what you're wanting to say? The what? Grand Canyon? Yes, Grand Canyon, the rope bridge over that. Uh, oh gosh, I've done so many things. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, I'm just kind of. Uh, did I read you've done the pyramids? Oh yes, I did. And I was inside a pyramid climbing. Oh my goodness. Yes. It, oh, that was, and, and they had a sarcophagus where you laid down and light came. I don't remember how the light came in, but it, it affected you. And, and I was with other people and they would, you could only lay in the sarcophagus for just a few minutes because everybody wanted their turn and that would be fair. Uh, oh gosh, I just... Uh, Machu Picchu? Oh yes, I got to go to Machu Picchu and climbed. Oh, that was awesome too. Uh, and they had a steely that was... A, 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 what would you call it? A pillar of stone that acted like a clock. You know, it cast a shadow, and that mama, let's see, there was a big, oh, stone as big as that whole wall, a, a rock, and they called her Mama Pachu, I think. Come. Uh, oh, gosh, the... That sounds wonderful. And what was it like to go on the Nile River? Oh, well, there was a lot of uh, symbolism in that. Uh, they, they had a, they had gods different than ours, and there was one that if it started in the east and she swallowed the sun and gave birth to the sun in the morning it, and and she's she's she was kind of like that her hands up here and her feet down here and and during the night then it was like the sun moved it, it 
course it really did, but that's the, uh, the, I believe. the, the story of it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've climbed a mountain. Now, I didn't ever climb Mount Kilimanjaro like my niece, uh, but I've... You still got that to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's in Africa. Oh, oh. Well, I guess the YMCA is not Mount Kilimanjaro, but you're going to be up 111 feet, so that'll be. Won't that be exciting? I can yeah. hardly wait. <laughs> Thir t 12 days. Oh, I know. I've been counting them all. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. Is there... Because it'll raise money for some of those rooms in that building to be converted in, in almost as lovely apartments as we've got here. And they, they won't be quite as big as the ones here, but they'll be very nice with all the cabinets and... Oh. I'm really happy to hear that, mm -hmm. and that's a, a wonderful goal uh, to, to have to do the rappelling. And I've been practicing. I I walk all around inside here in the building to build up my legs to be strong, so that I can do the rappelling well. And I sing when I go around the hall, Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Well, I intend to do that as I repel down. Of course, they can't hear me because <laughs> the wind will take my voice away. But I'll have the Lord with me. And well, that is, I think that'll be beautiful. Well, we'll know. I'll know. I'll be at the bottom singing with you. Oh, good. And Mimi's going to be at the top. Is that right, Mimi? Right. All right. That's great. Aren't we fortunate? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just think we're living in the best age. It's just, I'm just happy, that's all. <laughs> well, uh, look at me, I got to have my son, Larry, and my daughter, Sherry, and my, she's in North Carolina, and my son in Singapore, Neil Dana. And I've got all my children that I just love. And as far as I know, they love me. <laughs> is, is there anything that you'd like to ask me? Oh, I have lots of questions. So how long have you loved to travel and when did you start traveling internationally? Well, let's see. Uh, uh, The minister, uh, Dr. Kowal. Yeah, Jane's dead now, but she was alive, and we would sign up, and and she made little tassels uh, that we put on our luggage so that you could find it when you. Uh, wherever your destination was to get your correct suitcase everybody had a tossel and now Emerson Co-op was still alive but Jane is dead that's one of the unhappy things as we get older so many of our dear friends are gone and I just lost just this week Marge used to be George, Marge and George Kyle and Marge passed away. But I thought from the time I was a little girl, I don't know what made me think that, that I'm going to live to be a hundred. 
So I expect that, and it's only six more years, and I'll be a hundred. <laughs> is that the key? If you set your expectations high, you can live longer. Yes, I guess. I, I think I'll do that. I should mm -hmm. set my expectations. Well, you high. know, Norman Vincent Peale said the power of positive thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's another question?